What's going on everyone? We're going to be going over some Baby Doge stuff, talking about the technicals and what's about to happen next here inside of Baby Doge and the overall crypto market. So definitely hit the like button and subscribe, all that good stuff. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, none of this is financial advice, but let's talk about this because as we can see here with Baby Doge, we are actually looking like we're pulling back here and we've broke out very, very briefly back here with Baby Doge and then we tried to do it again, but now you're seeing that we're pulling back here with the prices with baby doge and this is pretty important because if you look the highs are now getting lower which means we are going to have a pullback so like i mentioned before typically when we break the top side of the momentum wave bands up here we typically have a pullback to the bottom side of the green momentum wave bands which acts as our supports so we're going to be looking towards down here at 8z1025 currently we're at 8z 8z 1313 right that's eight zeros after the decimal place 1313 and then we're looking towards eight zeros after the decimal place, 1025. So eight Z 1025 is what we're looking for. But yeah, we're pulling back down here. We're actually hitting a technical area here. And you can see us hitting this, uh, getting closer and closer to that support here. So this is pretty, it's pretty cool. It looks like Baby Doge, you know, it's going to make its way downwards. And we're going to have some uh, nice price action going on with Baby Doge. Probably going to see some discounts coming in very soon. So that'll be good as well. But yeah, the volume has been slowing down a little bit and we've also been seeing the selling happening. So yeah, there is going to be that pullback. Now, Bitcoin did pump all the way up to 38K. Well, it got rejected at 38K. Let's say that like right before 38K, it got rejected, all right? So yeah, Bitcoin got rejected and then went down from there. So Bitcoin, it's probably gonna pull back a little bit more from here. You know, I, I have been talking about the uh, pullback here from Bitcoin. Maybe it didn't happen at uh, 30, 32K like we thought it was going to happen, but eventually it's going to happen. And this is how it happens all the time. You know, we hit this resistance all the way up here. I think eventually here with Bitcoin, we can see a pullback. But whenever that pullback does come, remember the next, the first support for Bitcoin is all the way down here at 32K. So if we do have a pullback, like a big pullback, just know that 32K is that next support for Bitcoin. So that's what we're watching out for. We're, we're watching out for that 32K support. And if it breaks that, obviously we got about like 28K here with Bitcoin. So we got some uh, good levels here on Bitcoin. We just have to kind of be patient here, see what happens next. But yeah, I do I do expect us to have a pullback here inside of Bitcoin. Obviously we're in a bull market, obviously, but it doesn't mean that we're not gonna have a pullback. We always have pullbacks in bull markets, right? So we should have some uh, increases in price after that pullback. But yeah, this is definitely the bull market. We're definitely bullish, like I said, but we always have those pullbacks. So yeah, if we're gonna pull back here to uh, 32K, and personally, I think it's gonna be around the lower area of 32K. I don't think it's gonna be all the way up. So I think it's gonna probably go back down to um, maybe this support here that I drew out at 31K or possibly a little bit lower to 28K. But that's what we're looking at here. Now, there's a lot of people talking about this with Bitcoin. You know, a lot of people talking about how they don't think Bitcoin's going below 30K ever again. They don't think it's doing it ever again. Now, whether or not that's going to happen, I can't say because nobody knows 100% sure. But what we do know is that we are, we're probably going to have a pullback here inside of Bitcoin. Um, we've really just been... Um, we, we really been all inside of the top side of the momentum wave bands. And typically with these, like you're, you typically always see it pulling back to the support wave band, right? It's always going to pull back to the green one after it hits the red um, resistance, um, the wave band up here, the resistance one. So what we're looking out for here now with Bitcoin, since we've been inside this red momentum wave band for such a long time, we're looking at the move to the green one, right? So... I don't know when it's going to do it, but it's going to do it eventually, right? That's, that's going to be what brings us down to 32K Bitcoin. So eventually we're going to have to uh, pull back and get back down there. But as of right now, you know, Bitcoin's still looking bullish right now. If you look at this, we're on the four hour chart here, right? And we're actually on a technical indicator right now. This is the chart prime indicator. Look in the link in the description if you want chart prime. But what we're looking at here now is the uh, RSI. Look at how it's about to cross, right? But it's going to go back down a little bit, but then it's going to go up. So we could see the price dropping down to uh, 35K possibly and then continuing to increase and then reach 32K or we could just see it reaching 32K now. But I think these are the two scenarios that we have. Regardless, we have to have a pullback because um, every he healthy pump has a healthy pullback. If you don't have a healthy pullback, 
then it's more than likely a, a bull trap that you're in. So if we don't have a, pull, a pullback and we just keep going to 40K, 50K, no, 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 no. We're going to have a huge crash if that happens. So we have to have this healthy pullback. We have to see this pulling back down to 30K so or 32K so then we can have a healthy uh, pump continuing to go on. So yeah, I do uh, predict that we're going to have a pullback here and then uh, another pump. So we're either, like I said, pulling back all the way here and then we're going to go up to like 40K or we're just going to go back to here 35K and then we're going to go to 40K and then we're going to make our way back down to the support. So those are the three scenarios that we got or two. Yeah, those are the scenarios that we got. So let me know what you guys think about that scenario. Now, moving on from that, uh, let's just go over some general baby doge stuff because it's been a little while here. 190 million inside of volume here or inside of market cap. I wish that was the volume. But yeah, 3.7 million in volume for Baby Doge. So yeah, we're, we're still doing fairly well here on Baby Doge. Uh, holders, 1,778,686 holders. Um, and yeah, we, we've gotten a good amount of holders here. That is, yeah, that is actually uh, 3,000 holders inside of two weeks. So yeah, 3,000 holders in two weeks. And we do this consistently inside of Baby Doge. We consistently get new holders every single day inside of Baby Doge. So that's, that's impressive. That's very 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 impressive as you see when i refreshed this we got an extra two holders when i hit the refresh button on that so yeah we're getting holders literally every second of the day we're always getting holders so that's pretty cool now this is pretty cool too. get your baby doge maxi entries in for the winner will get two thousand dollars so the grand prize winner voted on by the community wins two thousand dollars and also gets the actual animal league crystal collar award given to the baby doge community so this is huge this is very huge uh two thousand dollars inside of uh prizes here that's pretty good shout out to them for that and we have a new listing for a donation thing so baby doge is now officially listed as a donation token so we've officially listed baby doge from uh baby doge coin on friend three as one of our available donation tokens so i guess they have uh donation tokens tokens it says post chat trade donate earn all in friend three and open source social d app so it's like a social media d app that's that's pretty cool i'm gonna look into this friend three thing because i've i've never heard of anything like that a social media d app that's never been done before so if if this is a social media d app then this is probably uh the first one and this is probably this is pretty big and yeah yeah you can see like these are all the people on here you can see all these different names. Um, but yeah, that's that's a lot of um, different names in here. So yeah, pretty interesting uh, stuff here. I'm going to be looking into the friend three thing to see exactly what it is. Because if this is like a social media D app, like that, that's pretty big. It's pretty big. But um, anyways, Augie has locked tokens with their Ethereum. They've made Augie Ethereum. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the team Augie Inu has chosen the Baby Doge token locker to lock up their new if token for a sponsored lock. Now, I do want to say something here about Augie because I haven't made a video in Augie for Augie in a while. But notice how it says Augie Inu, right? And it, I just got to make sure everybody sees that. It says Augie Inu. And then it says Augie Inu ETH. Why do you think Baby Doge doesn't say Baby Doge and then Baby Doge ETH? Like, and then when you also look at Augie, like it has different amounts of money, it has different amounts of tokens in there. Like these are two different tokens. This this wasn't bridged. Um, the contract creator can make change of blah, blah, blah. That's just something up here. But this, this was not bridged. This is a different coin, right? It's Augie Inu, but it's an ETH coin. So it was not bridged. So when people talk about Baby Doze, and they're saying Baby Doze wasn't bridged, they just created a new token. They created 420 quadrillion total supply. Now we have 840 quadrillion total supply. Like, that's that's what they're saying. I kind of sounded like an announcer there. But look, that's what they were saying there. They were saying, look, no, 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 it's a whole new coin. Like, how is it a whole new coin? We bridged. Look at this. Binance, Ethereum. These are the same coins. Like, it's the same coin. Like, Baby Doge, ETH and Baby Doge, the BNB, they're the same thing. But if you go to type in Baby Doge, you'll see that they have a, a Baby Doge ETH on here, but that's not the actual Baby Doge. That's a different token. It's not even our token. Like this, this over here, this is a different token. This is not Baby Doge at all. But this right here that we're looking at is Baby Doge, and they also have ETH. 
So we don't have two tokens. We don't have 840 quadrillion total supply. We only have one token. And now we have 146 quadrillion circulating supply, right? So that just kind of proves it, you know? It kind of proves that this, this is one token. It's not two tokens for Baby Doge. I've even looked at the contract address and the contract for Ethereum and Binance are the exact same because it's the exact same token. And I, I just wanted to say that because when I looked at this, I'm like, wait a second. This is what people were trying to argue the whole time that Baby Doge had two tokens. No, Augie Inu now has two tokens. Baby Doge has one token. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we got that um, kind of situated there because you know people... People are just talking a lot of a lot of stuff just to talk. You know, they don't know nothing about they don't know nothing about contract addresses. They don't know nothing about code. They don't know nothing about uh, solidity. They don't know nothing about writing program. They don't know nothing about all that. They think that the Baby Doge team made two tokens. No, they made one token and they bridged it over. But anyways, let's uh, move on. Our liquidity now at two point eighty two million dollars. Our volume now at um, sixty thousand dollars in the last twenty four hours. Very good. Our farms um, doing a little decent here. We still need our core farms so i'm going to say this in every video we need our core farm so if any of the baby doge team is looking these two core farms they're cool i guess but we want core farms where you can earn baby doge inside of uh, rewards where you can stake something and something whether it's baby doge and uh, bnb or whatever and earn baby doge we just want to earn baby doge with a core farm where we can also stake something similar right that's all we want to do but yeah, definitely um, check that out because uh, the developers like y'all need to, y'all need to work on this. Like this is what the people want. So yeah, definitely check that out if y'all are watching this. But anyways, this is all I got for you all today. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe. If you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the link in the description for Chart Prime. And um, also definitely check out our Patreon group as well, Crypto Millionaires. Link in the description. As always, I'll be back with another video.